What's going on, everybody? I want to talk to you a little bit today about more so recent experience I had of a conversation about expectations. And this particular conversation was geared towards the expectations that we have of other people and how that can affect us. Now, I believe one of the biggest drawbacks that we can have as human beings, the biggest setbacks that we can have as individuals, is having expectations for others and I say that in in regards to what happens when those expectations are not met now of course we want to have expectations of ourselves of course we want to be able to set goals and have standards and adhere to those goals and those standards but what happens when we expect something from somebody else when we set an expectation or a standard for them we expect them to adhere to it. What happens when they don't? Think about it. It causes some frustration. It causes some anxiety. It causes one to doubt the, the trustworthiness of other human beings and individuals. And granted, we would love to live in a perfect world where we set an expectation for somebody and they adhere to that, that expectation and that, and that standard. But how fair is that? Not everybody thinks the same. That's the beauty of humanity. That's the beauty of diversity. Everybody thinks differently. What becomes a problem is, is that when those expectations are not met, we begin to doubt ourselves as well. And that kills our spark. It kills our spirit. And it's because of those expectations that we set for others. And sometimes we're just such unrealistic expectations in the first place because we have such these high standards. I think the biggest thing that we need to be focused on and the thing that's going to make us comfortable is having a certain level of expectation of ourselves and making sure that we are living up to those expectations of ourselves. It's almost like when you hold the door open for somebody, what do you expect them to do? Say thank you. What happens when they don't say thank you? How do you feel? If you're driving, you let somebody go out in front of you, they don't wave. How do you feel? You don't wave, they're not waving at you. You get angry. Because we expect people to wave back. We expect people to say thank you. And yes, while that is proper etiquette and that is proper manners, we have these expectations set in stone in our minds. And when people, again, do not do those particular things that we think that they should do, we begin to have problems with it. There's a great saying that I heard uh, before from a professor of mine who said don't ever should on yourself meaning don't ever think that somebody should do something or that they should be this way that only creates again setbacks for ourselves the expectation that we should have that we should hold high that we should hold true is the expectation of ourselves of ourselves to be good people ourselves to be a better version of us that's the things that we should be focusing on the things that we should be doing, you see. And again, the people who are with us, the people who are close to us, hopefully those people, again, respect you and respect your friendship or your love or whatever it may be. However, at the same time, as many people are aware, things change, people change. Things happen in our lives that we necessarily don't expect to happen. And it does something to us. It makes us angry. It can make us frustrated again. But those are the things that we need to keep in mind. And it's important for us to have an expectation of ourselves to be a better person. At the end of the day, that's the biggest thing that matters. Thank you for your time. I appreciate y'all. This is Open Eyes. Peace and love, everybody.